Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you that how you can compare the running total of a particular dimension value which is accessories in this case with the overall running total of a product. So that way you will see that uh, whether the running total is lower or higher or where it is you know based on uh, our values that we are having. So definitely it will be lower but then what you get to know is how much lower or higher it is as compared to the uh, table. So with that uh, let me just show you how you can do that. So before I do just a quick information that this is the workbook where I am keeping a lot of scenarios related to the line chart right and if you want to grab this uh, workbook then the description is in the uh, it, the information is in the description on how to get it along with this if you want to get the information about uh, the data set which I am using uh, so that you can follow it along then the link is given in the description so that you can come here and the date within the data set sheet uh, you will find my data set which is the sample superstore data set right also, uh, if you want to know about uh, all of my 300 plus videos and in easy to find sheet or where you can easily find the tutorial, any tutorial, then this is also the information is present in the description on how to get it. Okay, so with that additional information, let me come back and first of all, move this to my second screen so that I can show you, uh, so that I can show you the uh, information about the running total. Okay, so where I am is over here, right? So what I do is, first of all, uh, what I need is basically a new measure, a new measure to find out the running total. So running total of sales. So I have the running total sales, right? And uh, this will be, I press Alt Enter and VAR variable and underscore max uh, oh, sorry underscore max date so this is a part of the standard calculation to find out the maximum date so that you know a loop or a recursive calculation can happen based on the maximum order date okay so where are you my order date here you are oh sorry this is what i hate okay max order date and uh, then what do we want to do is we want to return alt enter we want to run, return the calculate the sum of six right that will be based on all the orders right so we have uh, we have the sales sorry sales orders based on the sales orders and then what do we have is the orders date should be less than or equals to what underscore max date okay let's hit it and one more thing it is coming in this function let me just try to drag it will it come no so what I'll do is I will just simply copy this and I'll delete this here I want it to be in the orders table so what I did is I did not select the order table while I was creating the measure. So that is something which I will do it now. And I will click on the new measure. And in the new measure, I will simply paste what I just wrote earlier. All right, so I have it here, running total of sales. So what it will do is it will show you the total sum, right? So, or total, uh, running total of the entire value. So over here, I have this order date right and just so that I keep only a year and quarter for this demonstration so that it is easy to see right I bring this down and uh, increase the size and what I'll do is sales uh, running total sales right this is what I created so I will bring it on to this axis so this is running total sales of our values and uh, what I'll do is I will bring on to the filter and filter was the subcategory right so accessories appliances and if you see it is basically changing based on these values so let me just bring this up so overall uh, if you see this running total 
it is basically changing based on how uh, our sales are or how the sales is basically for a particular value and this is not the impact of the uh, sales order it should be in a straight line on the upward side so i just realized that i re just need the entire table to be selected over here and not the uh, sales i should not have specified the sales so if you see now the impact is coming right so if i now go ahead and select any one thing it will not going to change because the formula or the function that i'm using all so if you see if i click it over here this is all now we need similar fun similar output that should change based on the selection so i'm copying these this making sure i'm selecting the orders table and the new measure right and uh, once it is appear i will paste it and rather than simply saying all the formula i will say all selected so that means based on the selection it should change so running total sales by dimension okay so i just put it out there and uh, where are you yep there you are so i select the table and i bring this now if you see i have the sales value which is changing based on the if nothing is selected then it is equivalent to the total line but if something is selected then the impact is coming so what you can do is you can select this chart and you can enable the data labels as well so that you can see the impact okay so this is how i wanted to make sure i wanted to show you as to how you can show these lines uh, or the line chart that is based on the total sum total running sum and the total uh, and the running sum based on which is changing based on the dimension and the you can see the distinction is the all and all selected function all just make sure that it is removing the impact of uh, slicer and all selected takes the uh, takes the impact of the slicer so i hope you found this information useful and enjoyed this video with that i will meet you in the next video with a new topic